Hi guys, so today uh, we're building on our last video. I'm going to show you how to add uh, VMs or virtual machines to your advanced home server running Zen server. Now this shouldn't be too hard at all. Um, it's very simple. Um, you will need to create a shared uh, folder on your computer, but after that, you simply click New VM, choose your operating system, or the closest model to your operating system. Pick a name. I'm naming this Ubuntu Desktop as I'm installing Ubuntu Desktop. Hit Next. Uh, choose the ISO image from your network shared area. So I've already done this, so... I can see all the ones I want. Now you're going to pick the CPU size and the RAM size. And then moving along, you're going to pick the disk size and the network interface. Once that's all done, you're just going to hit build. And you'll see the little green bar scroll across in the bottom right hand corner. And once that's finished, your VM will automatically start. So, unlike other uh, virtual servers, you can just click straight on the VM name, straight on console, and you get direct access with your keyboard and your mouse and straight to the screen like this. So, um, as I stated in my last video, it's very close to VirtualBox. Um, works similar. Uh, it just happens to be hosted on a remote machine. So while uh, Ubuntu is loading, I will be releasing a video tomorrow showing you how to export a virtual machine that's already in a virtual box and transfer that over to your uh, Zen server or your advanced home server. Now whilst this loads, it, it takes a few minutes to load to begin with, the installer does. And um, I don't think I've quite picked the right BIOS settings, but it will change them for you. So here you go, it's changing them for you. So now it's nearly finished loading. You can uh, make the tag disappear like this just by uh, clicking on the pin. It's useful sometimes, other times I prefer to have them. If you press exit, it will dis it will rescale back to a standard size window as it is. So we're now booting into uh, Ubuntu Desktop. And uh, it's coming quick, it's booting up quite quickly. I only gave it a gig, uh, a gig of RAM and uh, two cores, so for what I've given it, it's doing pretty well. Now, uh, I'm not going to bother touring around Ubuntu, um, I'm going to go straight for the install. Maybe should have let it load slightly more, or not. So we're now in the install. And uh, I'm going to go for the minimal pack. I'm not going to install any add-ons or extras, um, just to save time really. I'm not going to use this desktop, I'm just going to delete the virtual machine afterwards. So we're going to click continue. And we're going to give it a second to load. We're going to pick our country. By default, it's already, because I'm connected to the internet, it's already picked the correct country. Pick the correct keyboard. Um, you can use the DTEC keyboard, but I've already got it set to the right one. So I'm just going to name my username YouTube. Like I said, I'm going to delete this afterwards. It's just literally to show you how it's done. We're going to try automatic login, but it still requires a password. So we're going to put a weak password in there. And it won't let us have that either. Yeah, that'll do. So we put our weak password in. We hit continue. We give it about 10 minutes. Um, I don't know the exact time, but it, it did take about 10 minutes to scroll across the two bars it requires. And like I said, this will work the same for any operating system. So we just got to the end of the... Um, install bar, it's just doing some checks 
and we've just finished it just says to detach the media so by default it will shut the machine off it won't go into restart which is great because you are then able to eject the virtual CD from the virtual CD drive when it stops So uh, Ubuntu desktop, you could run run um, Minecraft on it. I'm going to run Minecraft on one of these in one of the videos up and coming because uh, I haven't played it and I've seen a lot of people saying to play it. So as we've got a virtual server, we have space on it. I'm going to chuck a box on there and if I don't like it, I can just delete it. So we've gone back to the regular size window and we've clicked eject at the top. The... Um, the little bar at the top is the CD drive and we're just going to wait for it to shut down completely as you can see by the buttons at the top it's still running currently um, we've got four shut down and we've got uh, shut down now but the buttons have just changed which means it's just turned off so we're going to click the green start button again We're gonna give it, yeah, we're gonna click it. And it's gonna boot back up again. We're gonna press enter. We are getting a bit of bit of lag, but that's because I have so many of them running side by side on the same network. There's a lot of traffic flowing back and forward. Um you won't get as much lag um as long as this is one of the only servers running on your network. And we get quite a quick boot now, straight into the um, installed operating system of Ubuntu. As you can see, it takes around 30 seconds, which is, is pretty normal for a uh, standard install on the hardware. We have got it set to automatically log us in, so we're not going to see the login screen. We're just going to jump straight into the desktop. And there you go, the desktop is loaded pretty quickly and uh, you're ready to go. That That is as simple as it gets. Um, it takes a few minutes to install a virtual machine, about 10 minutes. And um, then you can play straight away in your box. So if you want to try out an operating system, this is a great way to do it. Because if you do not like it, you haven't actually changed anything on your hard drive, you haven't, you haven't complicated anything, you can just simply in the operating system so you know what to do if you like this video give us a thumbs up if you know someone who might like it share them and uh till next time thanks